Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike. In the background we have... Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes, huh? Yes, sir. Well, Camille, we got a good show for you planned today. We've got a damn good show planned for you today. Uh, what's going down in the People's Republic of wherever you're at? Are you in a blue state or a red state? Or it doesn't matter. Or are you in the United States? Matter. I'm in Nevada, so I mean, I'm in New Mexico, so you tell me. You're in the People's Republic of New Mexico is where you're at. Good place to be. It's a very pretty state. Uh, going into it there, we have a lot of uh, debt procedures that were passed today. Uh, there was a high-end uh, uh, bill that will probably put our grandchildren into, uh, well, debt forever, unfortunately. But maybe some good will come out of it, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, so, uh, Q Card's uh, approval ratings came out as well today. Uh, they've got them at a 41% in USA Away. Did you see that? Yeah. So maybe uh, maybe uh, he'll he'll turn things around. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't affect the market too much. Okay, guys. So going to the first stock we have. This is from uh, Price Rescue. Price Rescue uh, hit up. Are, uh, he might be the next uh, stock. He might pick some of these out every week. We might. He's got some. Uh, this one's a really good one. Uh, it is uh, popping too. I, I got the six-month average on here. Uh, the, the 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 ticker on this one is CRBP. CRBP, Camille. Uh, Corbis Pharmaceuticals Holdings. Last tick was a dollar and thirty-two cents. Uh, looking at the looking at the candlesticks and the, the charts. I'm going to show you this charts up here because I know uh, I think it's uh, Brother Guzman out there. He likes that. Uh, he he likes to, he likes us to show there show that on there. So we're going to give you that. Um, going going at the analytics of this, uh, you could actually on this stock you could actually swing it, don't you think? Looking on your end. Yeah. Yeah, I I think you could. It looks like we had uh, we we crested above uh, two two and change. And that this was uh, looks like uh, June 21st, and then obviously it took the dip because everybody shorted and got out. Uh, and then we're seeing a climb again, uh, and that's because of uh, some news popping there, which we'll go to in a little bit. We will get your Parrot Alphabet news there. Uh, going to what they do, because everybody wants to know what would you do here, what would you say you do here, uh, they are in phase three of a clinical stage uh, pharmaceutical company which focuses on the development and commercialization of novel therapeutics to treat rare, chronic, serious, inflammatory uh, fibrotic diseases. The company's lead product candidate is uh, Lenabiazum. It, it's a novel synthetic oral cannabis. Okay, guys, going to uh, the website. Well, it looks like a dollar and change stock. It looks pretty good for the website. Uh, it looks like the company motto, we're going to go over something. Some things I didn't like about it as far as when I was reviewing it, Camille. Uh, and we'll go in, I'll dive into that after I get into to the company, uh, you know, the, the rah, rah, rah stuff here. Uh, you know I'm not that type of person that likes the rah, rah. So uh, their company is focused on connecting innovate, innovate, innovation to purpose. Uh, Corbis is committed to leveraging the expertise in immunology to fulfill the purpose of developing an innovative new medicines that improve the lives of people living through fibrotic and metabolic diseases. Cancer, huge right there, guys. Right, right, right there is the huge one too, as well as cancer. All these are heavy hitters right there. Uh, but you know, this is this is obviously our learning process here. For Corbis Pipeline encompasses two different approaches to immunology: small molecules that activate and inhibit the body's uh, endocannabinoid system and antigen engine. Energen monocle and uh, antibodies that block activation of TGF, not TGI Fridays either. There, uh, obviously, there's the building uh, where they're located. Uh, there's the old place. Uh, so they have a, a model that they have for their values. It's called Core. So C O R E. Uh, doesn't that remind you of a, of a company name later where they do uh, PSP, People Service Profit? <laughs> A company to be named later uh, used to used to do that, and they used to have meetings where they're like, "We're going to talk about people. We're going to talk about service. We're going to talk about profit." We had coffee and donuts. Oh, I heard that for so many years, man. Uh, what say you, Camille? Do you like those kind of uh, rah 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 meetings? Yeah, 
No, not really. No, the burritos and the freaking bagels and donuts and and and, and shit's not free if you get diabetes from it and high cholesterol. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, you know, as a as a nothing's free when they're giving you all those as they're as they're filling you with uh, the rah rah. So, anyways, uh, they're going to celebrate individuality, recognize the power of diversity and inclusion, welcome the differences within us all that makes them shine as a team. So they're working together there. Uh, you have your own compassion. You could share in the journey, experience the reality, patients, care, and advocates of the healthcare providers. We are not spectators, but we're passionate and present. And individuals uh, thrive in participation. Relentless transforms Corbis continually push what's possible to adapt and evolve in the battering lives of individuals, agile, purposeful change, and the needed. Uh, embrace your inner pioneer. Uh, we're not going to go into any more of that because you guys want to get in and see what's in the pipeline. That's what you're all focused on. Uh, going into the pipeline there, Cameo, do you have any uh, things about any of the core values you just want to move on? That's my vlog. Uh, Cause you feel like you're at a you're at a, a meeting for uh, with uh, coffee and donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm gonna bust out the the contracts with you and everything like that, and make you sign them there, huh? The stock talk uh, 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 contracts there. I don't sign anything. No. Nope. I'm my lawyer. Just I'll your life away, dude. Right. I'm my lawyer. He'll take care of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So in the pipeline, they have. The Lena, uh, Lena Bassum, uh, CB1 inverse uh, anginist, CB2 anginist, anti CRVX uh, MB8, looking with a lot of uh, scientific language there. Uh, the studies are for dermatitis, lupus, metabolism, solid tumors, solid tumors, and fibrosis. Phases we got, they are in phase three. For dermatitis, that's huge all the time. How many people in this country, Camille, have dermatitis? Lots of them. So, yeah, phase three of that. That looks good, guys. I'm gonna call my shot right now, and I'm not trying to. I'm not doing a hot take. I'm not trying to rye you up or anything like that because we don't do this on the show. We call as we see it, don't we, Camille? Yes, sir. This is simply, simply too cheap of a bargain for what you have for phase three on this. A buck and change. For something like this in phase three and then you also have uh in the lupus phase they got phase two on that that's huge too as well so i'm not seeing this thing any i'm seeing another rise again a rise with the next big news uh so uh you also have solid tumors they're in phase one on that they hit the phase three on that guys or the phase two you're gonna see more so I'd say buckle the seatbelt and get ready for the ride. I'm not saying to get in today, but I am saying to get in uh, sometime. Tomorrow. What's that, Camille? Tomorrow. <laughs> you could get in tomorrow. You could play. You got to figure out your game. If you're in the short game, you're looking good because you're sitting here at what? What do we got? Friendly today. You got tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow or today will be Wednesday. So we're doing the show tonight, so you'll be at Wednesday tomorrow. Uh, you're looking at. Yeah, you you could play a short game and make it out till Friday. I have I have that's that's a, that's not that far of a reach there, Camille. So you you know your game as far as what you're gonna do, but let's let's cut our opinion out and let's go to Stockwitz and see what the real traders are saying. And Price Rescue Man, this was a hot, good, good pick. Uh, I'm excited to actually talk about your next one because the one I was gonna pick before was from the Pump and Dump list, and I don't think it's that exciting, but we might possibly cover it. I'm not sure. Okay guys, going on to Stockwitz uh, with CRBP. You got Stock uh, Stockwatch7. He says go to virus.com and check out his charts. So go there and check that. Just kidding, dude. I just... Uh, virus.com, huh? What kind of viruses are you going to get? Uh, Pookie.com viruses, who knows, talking viruses, malware, you name it. I've seen the them all. I on there or something. Huh? I wonder if the 19's on there. You might have the PG-13 virus on there too as well, dude. You never know. So... Yeah. The talking one, seen that one before. That one's good. Backup, oh, wipe, and reload, yeah, guys. Right. Don't fight it. Just backup, wipe, and reload. Eli, the computer guy, look him up, man. Uh, best lesson uh, learned. Anyways, uh, Lampuka CRP bought a dollar seventy, bought at ninety five cents. Target three fifteen four seventy. That's not that far of a reach. I would actually agree with him on that one. Uh, Rafa eighty nine, dude, you didn't get Rafa on here now, did you? I did. That's my friend, dude. 
No, is that that's your buddy there? That that's not that's not that's that's not Raphael from freaking uh, or Orito, is it? Camille's got Camille. You got you got Raf, Rafita's on here. This possibly isn't him, but you never know. Camille does like to get people on the chat boards now. Uh, he said the only agreement announced with the FDA over phase three results will bring this stock to life again. I don't know when they're going to do it. And he's like, hmm. He's all things that make you go, hmm. That's what I. That's what a lot of. You know, that could be the. That that actually, Camille could be the song of the year when it comes to uh, you know gov stuff this year, as far as everything yeah. they're doing. Sometimes it's just the things that they say that make you want to go, hmm. So uh, it looks like Amelia. They said at three dollars on hand. Uh, yeah, I, I'm saying that's not that far of a reach either. There, Camille. Uh, let's see. This guy says he bought. Uh, he says by January 21st, uh, 2022, uh, $1.50 calls, entry price, yeah, whatevs, dude. He, he's got a bunch of uh, stuff there. Uh, looks like we got, this is the most frustrating stock I own. I'm glad I'm only at 2,600 shares. I really thought they would have already at least one positive result. Dude, you got just got to have patience, man. I, how long did I sit on NSAF for, Kamel? I don't remember. Uh, eight eight years, eight years before it blew up on me. Five or eight years, something like that. It was somewhere between five and eight years. Some of these you just gotta buy, park them, and uh, you know if you got it on the dip, who the hell cares, right? If you if you can get the, if some of these if you can get them for a price of freaking uh, what is it a, a whatever whatever you buy it at the price of I don't know a boat a ham sandwich whatever you do whatever you buy on. Go out and get them, man. Smoke if you got them, right? Exactly. So, CRBP looking forward to a big pickup. Some, some, uh, some up uh, for one dollar. Here's the other thing, like we discussed on the show, there, Camille, too. Wouldn't you say that you would have to uh, take the L? It's it's good to admit that you're taking the L sometimes. I hate to say, it. sometimes you just gotta admit it and take the L. So some of these you are going to lose on. But uh, if you play your cards right, you will win a majority of the time. You just got to study the charts and find your buy point. That's what I say every day. So if you want to know, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, I'm going to send you to Ricky Gutierrez again, and he will show you how to study a chart. That is your schoolwork. That's your homework for studying charts. So we're not going to go into it. He'll go into it. Uh, what say you, Camille? Yes, sir. Wash it, dry it, pick it up before you buy it. Smoke it, put it in your pipe and choke on it. Yeah. So uh, going to Twitch Shark, he has uh, uh, this thing. Uh, actually, we're gonna. He's going into. He's all over the board there. We're not gonna go to Twitch Shark. There. No. Not a. No. No worries there. Uh, CRBP. Don't let the scumbags fleece you. That. That's what I'm saying. Is that this one's simply too cheap. Uh, you just have to. Uh, this guy's got Wall Street uh, crook, is what he says. Uh, that's his. That's his name. He says, "Don't let them fleece you." So, uh, that's that's what he's saying. Uh, CRBP, no bulls today. No bulls to implore. Everyone else hold. And, and that's the thing. There, do not let them. We'll go to the alphabets just to see what they're parroting about this stock there, Camille. Uh, but yeah, don't don't take everything that they, these mockingbirds say. They're wrong most of the time. Uh, you have to look at all information out there from all sources. Probably about what twenty five to fifty sources now these days. Yeah. And most of the time, who, who's the one that's most of the time right pretty much about all news out there? That's pretty much most of the time right. Not the organizations, right? It's always the, most of the time the people that you find right are the whistleblowers or independent, the independent news sources that are actually out there, like the independent journalists. They're the ones that are mostly been vindicated through everything, and your alphabet news pretty much, because they're paid promoters, correcto? Sure. So this is uh, the end of this one, there, Camille. Do you got what? What say you on on this one as far as uh, spending any more time? Because it, it looks good to me as far as I, as far as I say it. They just they're they're going to need some more dineros for the studies. And like I said, it's it's one of the safer ones because you're playing with uh, with pharmace uh, pharmaceuticals there. Exactly. Camille's like, dude. I I just he's. Camille's smoking a blunt right now, so he's just smoking like chilling. A joint of doobie of weed. Yeah, so he he's he he's out of it on this one. So 
We're gonna try. We're gonna try to sober him up with some uh, gin and tonic, and then we'll get back with you there in a second. Okay, guys. Going on to uh, the next stock we have is ISWH. ISWH Holdings Incorporated. Last tick was 0 0.83. 0 0.8300. Uh, it was a little bit down, which is not a bad thing, uh, just because you could buy in on the cheap stuff, right, Camille? Yes, sir. Going on to the six-month average. We're doing this one again, and we're holding it up there. Uh, looks like back in March 21st, uh, you, you were looking at a little bit cresting above a dollar, maybe a dollar thirty, dollar forty ish, and then you took a dump uh, around April, and then you took a big dive down in July, and then you shot up in August with some more news, and then you leveled out at about eighty three cents, so just below a buck. So you almost made it to a buck. You could put this is another one where the patterns on this look like you can mess around and swing if you want to mess around on this one or you could buy a long-term hold as well just buy it obviously when you feel you have the right buy point now looking into this one there's tons of things that these guys do it is so it's kind of like what MSAV started out as a lot of people uh, don't realize with NSAV is they started out as cannabis and then they went over to blockchain and everything when blockchain started to blow up so you never know on these things, like I say, like I say, is that they change all the time, and it's like, what do you got to lose? So you only got to lose is your dough or whatever. <laughs> what do you, what say you, Camille? Well, what do you say? Come on, ice cream. Come on, ice cream. That's if you're taking a dump, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. So that yeah. Anyways. Uh, ISW Holdings Incorporated engages in development marketing with the sale of wine and spirits. Its brands include Basado, Tequila, and uh, I can't pronounce the other one, Camille. I'd have to show you, man. I don't want to butcher it, so it's probably... Uh, that's not all they do, though. Going on the website... Oh, by the way, this stock was brought to you by Price Rescue. He covered it. Uh, this is one of his stocks, and again, Price... They're this paying you to tell you this stuff, dude. Yeah, he, he paid me to tell me this stuff. He, he paid me, he said he's sending his AMC gift card back. That's how he paid me, right? <laughs> even, even though, uh, yeah, this, this is one of our good listeners there, Price. He brought this out, and yeah, this thing is freaking... This thing is tight. Okay, so going on there, what they do, they not only just do uh, what uh, we read there from Market Watch. Uh, it looks like based on Nevada, ISW is a holding company diversified in partnerships with focus on lines across the board with common goal of bringing broad communication from developers, consultants, design engineers, contractors, subcontractors, equipment providers, installation providers, end users, service providers. They have strategic expertise in establishing market leading companies, partnerships and sectors with highly relevant to in today's marketplace. Uh, in their experience, they have discovered that the small and medium-sized companies are able to develop a broader framework to relevant and the leader of their own industry setting. Uh, their role is to use software innovations of their resources to ensure companies achieve optimal success, yada yada. The diversified holding company focuses on growing companies, operational interests, and technology partnerships focused on powered renewable energy, cryptocurrency mining equipment. That one is huge. Why is that huge right there, Camille, for the cryptocurrency mining equipment? I don't know if people are buying it. Because hey, they're they're in they're in uh, as far as they're diversified in all these different things, and that's going to propel them eventually. I can almost guarantee you, when the dollar ruskies start becoming more inflated than they already are, because like we said on the last show, you're since the '70s on the dollar, your your inflation rate has gone significantly up on that. It, it the dollar is freaking. Okay, so when crypto comes back, which it will, and it'll come up through, you, I'm, I don't think that's far of a reach to still say that Bitcoin's going to be a hundred thousand. What say you on that? Yeah, I mean, it's a good buy, but what's the price at right now? I, I haven't checked. I could, I could go check on it. But what I'm saying is, is that if these guys are tied to that. When 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 everything is starts to implode, this stock is going to go up, kind of like what NSAV did. That one's dirt cheap too. If you're not when when uh, when Q card got elected, that thing shot up to seven cents, and then it crested again. Uh, this was about two or three months ago when I was on the promotion list. So I believe about it was in the twelves, I think. So uh, with this. This affiliating that right there, you're gonna with with this being affiliated with that, with it being so diversified. And also, 
if they're in the, if they're in the wine industry, what's going to happen if uh, crap hits the fan, which it's going to? I'm not trying to be a doomsday guy and try to scare you guys or everything, but you cannot. Everybody knows with common knowledge if you when you've paid attention in college and high school and everything, if you keep on printing with a printing press. So going in a nutshell, not getting back to that. Uh, what are people going to do, Camille, when they're having financial problems, which they've already done already? Spill all their shit. They're going to start drink. They're going to drink more. Uh, how much booze did you uh, bring to people in California during uh, during uh, uh, what what was the how much booze would you say you brought back and forth across the country uh, in the within the last couple of years before when you were bringing booze by to people? And we're talking, oh, like Camaro's talking. Thousands and thousands, 80,000 pounds worth every time. Yeah, and this was like three or four times a week. So imagine what's going to happen when the shitteth hits the faneth and you have a company that's diversified and all this stuff. That 83 and change turns into, you got a lot of money flowing all around this world. Unless they take all the money and run. What? But like I said, you're, this is this is a no-brainer here. How how cheap this thing is right here. So good good call on this one price. Uh, so what they do? They've established as a technology, home healthcare, and wellness company. Again, uh, that's about what they do. Again, healthcare and wellness. If they're into that too, uh, that's another recession-proof thing and uh, collapse thing. Healthcare, everything would just have to implode for for. I mean, we don't want that to happen, but I'm just saying that. Uh, healthcare is a safe play. No, what say you there, Camille? Are we going down the rabbit hole too much? Look at what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and focus on reshaping different sectors across various industries. The state-of-the-art nanotechnology process develop a wide range of effective nano-infused wellness and restoration products, provide home healthcare services for uh, Pedigram Home Health Company, and source renewable energy, another key there, uh, because uh, cue cards administration uh, is going uh, with uh, as far as uh, the renewable energy uh, direction. So that's another one you want to stay with there. They're also in joint ventures with cryptocurrency mining uh, agreement for the official distribution partner of Bitmain. Who is Bitmain there, Kamel? Do you know who Bitmain is? No. They're one of the largest uh, crypto... Uh, uh, mining uh, manufacturers and mining mining out there as far as that goes. Uh, China? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, obviously, yeah. So with their impressive records, there won't be anything apart. Apart from this, the partners and companies will help us in our quest to scale production uh, and multiply the impacts of its margin. This, this, I'm not saying we didn't get paid to say all this. I'm just, sta I'm just stating the obvious of what you have here. This, this is not that bad of a dive in to, to this company. So I've given you the analysis on that. Uh, you know what the most important thing about this company, though, is that we didn't discuss yet, which we're going to discuss. See, Kameo and I like to spend a lot more time on drugs and alcohol, and no, I'm just kidding, we don't. It's just interesting to talk about when, like, we like beverage stocks and, and uh, weed stocks. They're pretty fun to talk about. Uh, Kameo, uh, looks like, uh, do you have anything to add on that as well? No parties or anything you want to discuss or anything? Drink it all off. Oh, that, is that what it is? Okay. Uh, so with this consumer spirit, you're going to get, Jesse's going to come back even though he's banned for the channel. We haven't been able to ban anybody for a while, but Camille, there are people that are banned from this channel, aren't they? Plenty of people. Plenty of people. They, they got added to the hashtag of the world blocked. Uh, Jesse, if you could recall some of the listeners from the early days, uh, Radio Man can recall that one when uh, we banned Jesse. He was laughing about that one. He thought that was funny. Uh, so, the consumer spirits and beverage industry faces increasingly strict regulations and pricing. Competition along with shifting demand for various products that created the needed for product services innovations that they deliver. The inter introduction of both obstacles and opportunities, however, the innovator in the consumer spirits and beverage industry has combined 25 years. Uh, they have a grown luxury brand such as Basado Tequila. It's one of Camelo's favorite there. Isn't that your beverage of choice? Reposado Tequila, way. There you go. He has that. With, we have uh, Camille there, and his favorite uh, is tequila with the worm, isn't it? Well, I like the tequila with the scorpion, bro. Oh, he likes the scorpion. He likes the hard. He likes the poison scorpion there. That's what he likes. Uh, so they're they're skilled in searching opportunities within the space of developing the sustainable brand identity for partners. Uh, they'll help companies succeed in sealing up the production and streamlining their supply chains 
like Camille's, uh, Camille's uh, supply chains that he was doing, he was delivering that. Don't worry, during bad times, the alcohol will always flow. Ain't, ain't that the truth? Prohibition. Yeah, Speak that easy. Like something that should be bought. Uh, yeah, yeah. If they're doing cryptocurrency and all this stuff, Price Rescue is going to be a genius, and Price Rescue. You always sell it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And what's that? Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, yeah, alcohol is never going to stop selling. No, no, no. We're going back. It's like saying tobacco cigarettes are gonna stop selling. Yeah, look, 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 look at Prohibition. What happened with that? That one succeeded, yeah. right? <laughs> but we're talking the largest crime wave in the one of the largest crime waves in the history of America. But yeah, good work there, uh, Gov, on that one on Prohibition. All right, so we're gonna go to Stockwitz. Enough of the BS. We're gonna go to Stockwitz so Jesse doesn't uh, find out how to sneak on the channel with another one and see what the real traders are saying. All right, going on to Stockwitz, it looks like we have a uh, Trader Cake. Says I five dollars would be cool. It's not that far of a reach. Just wait it out there, Trade Cake. Uh, Imagine says price target this year two to five dollars. Yeah, I could see that happening. Uh, Evan seventeen. It's unclear how they'll be able to successfully implement twenty MW mining infrastructure per month megawatts uh, for ten consecutive months. Where's the capital coming from to fund the huge push? Must be some bit main and bit deals. Geez. A lot of work to be done. Well, yeah, there is a lot of work to be done. That is true. But we are in, it is in the entry level stages there. So just see how it goes there. Uh, ISWH, I'm so in deep in this, I'm not bashing, but the CEO doesn't seem to have any experience in crypto. I can see they are partnering with anyone on the management side. I get the pivot for this company, but where the industry, where's the industry knowledge coming? So that, that's good information and good stuff to know there, investor, not trader. Uh, let's see there. Uh, if anybody has that posted in the comments section, it'd be helpful for people to know as well to see this. Uh, ISWH, who's got 100K shares? Well, you got 100K shares there, Camille? Uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, that's why we just found out about it from Price Rescue, right? <laughs> yep. where, I find where do I find information on Bitmain agreement details? Uh, ISWH running up a dollar this week. Ninth, guess who? Guess when they're going to announce the official name change? Oh, so there's going to be a name change apparently. Anybody got any information about that? Post that as well. Uh, this is not an agreement we talked about. A dollar, let's go. Nasdaq uplisting very soon. Name change to Block Quarry. So we got our information on that one. Block Quarry before October. 200 megawatts of mining capacity by mid 2020, uh, 2022. Currently 80 cents per share low float. So this guy's uh, uh, hitting up uh, BTX.x. Check out the ISHW parroting that. Uh, looks like ISJW, please keep selling me your shares. Yeah, keep on selling the cheap stuff. They like it. Okay, guys, so that's going to close it out for uh, for night shift nurses there. Anything you got to add there, Camille, before we uh, take off here and bust out? Well, you know, good night now. I don't know. Good night now!